then that's been good good year for me so far well Harvey congratulations on a two year extension uh, your hard work is paying off yeah and no, that's been good obviously coming in last year for my first year so it's been a good season especially with the 23s obviously we're doing well in uh, the league we've already won it and uh, the playoffs to come next so yeah that's no, been a good good year for me so far yeah, as you just alluded to then, you know, you moved over from Bath or less, less than a year ago. Um, how much have you enjoyed being part of the overall setup, be that in and around the first team and the youth set, set up as well? Obviously, it was tough for me at the start, coming doing college as well, like three or four times a week, training twice a week at college with Bath. So I was training quite a lot. Um, the work side of it was probably the hardest part, doing education. And then obviously coming in now to full-time football was quite a big shock for me so but yeah that's no, been good obviously learning every single day so yeah and no, i'm enjoying it working with you know pat mountain ali hines um and the other keepers on a daily basis what have they taught you and how much have they helped you develop yeah now a lot obviously there's like what is there not to learn again as i said it's they're all brilliant keepers especially the coaching staff are very uh positive and help me every single day so obviously i'm learning every single day and obviously when i do things wrong they help me they don't get on at me like they back me try and help me yeah, every single day improving obviously just a good bunch of lads with the banter all sorts again so yeah nah good good enjoying it so they've helped you you know settle in obviously there's a lot of hard work but times to en enjoy it as well yeah yeah, yeah of course it's, when you work you work but off that you can have banter and enjoy your time whilst you're having like at football you're here all the time what five six days a week so when you're here you've got to enjoy it there's got to be times you've got to relax as well so obviously when we're out on the pitches crafting working hard so yeah they do draw that into us You've already been on the, the first team bench this season at Blackburn, a regular part of the match day, you know, um, environment as well. Perhaps as a goalkeeper, you have to be more patient than most, but you must have big plans over the next 24 months in terms of your development and maybe, you know, pushing for that first team play. Yeah, of course, obviously for goalkeepers, they don't normally develop until a lot later. So obviously there's plenty of time for me and it's hard in it because obviously there's not many injuries as a goalkeeper. You don't see them like get yellow cards, red cards, whatever as much. So you've got to abide and wait your time, but hopefully it'll come more. Were you always wanting to be a goalkeeper? Did you start off anywhere else? Is, is sometimes the case? Yeah, a lot of keepers. When I like like most keepers, I think Max was as well as an outfield player up until probably 13, 14. So yeah, obviously I, I enjoy playing the ball with my feet and that. So yeah, playing outfield when I was younger definitely helped me coming into goalkeeping. But that little change, I think has helped me a lot, obviously coming into goalkeeping with that previous footballing background. But yeah, try that. Awesome goal. Like a good mix. So when you obviously, you know, turned to goalkeeping and turned out actually you're quite good at it, you know, who did you sort of look up to? Who became your sort of inspiration? To be fair, Manuel Neuer, obviously he's brilliant with his feet and he's a, like a defensive keeper and he's a sweeper keeper as they call him. So obviously I look up to him a lot and I like playing with a high line myself as a goalkeeper and I've learned from him and look up to him when he plays. So yeah, Manuel Neuer. Excellent. Um, in the short term, you know, it's certainly been quite the year coming from Bath to, to Bristol City but with the under 23s you know you've you look like you, you're winning you're good you're gonna win the division you're in you've also got the playoffs to look forward to how excited are you about you know about that challenge oh, I'm just looking forward to playing at Ashton Gate obviously we haven't played there this season mm. so first game at Ashton Gate would be nice but yeah no I think as a team it's been tough with the 23s you've got obviously all the youth boys come a lot of the youth boys coming up to play with the first team which obviously is a brilliant achievement for all of them but it's been tough for the 23s to be able to bond and make a stronger team, which we've done really well at to obviously win the league in the South Division. But obviously, bringing those boys back in from the playoffs is going to be a massive difference, it's massive help for us as well, I think. But, yeah. Of course, you're looking forward to playing at Ashton Gate, like you just said, but training in this facility, the Robins High Performance Centre, every day, how much of a difference does that make to you? Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Obviously, every part of the facility is unbelievable, obviously, coming in. Even the new like driving in and that is just so much nice, nicer scenery, isn't it? So yeah, and that is really nice. All the staff as well, brilliant. Yeah, so yeah, loving it, man.